This series is going to show a little bit about bringing in OSC, Open Sound Control data, from your phone to Touch Designer to make interactive art. Now, Touch Designer, it's an amazing thing. Actually, let me just go ahead and type Touch Designer into my window so we can find it. Did I mean Touch Designer? I totally did. Touch Designer, single word. And there it is, Derivative.ca. It's a Canadian company and they make this awesome software, Touch Designer. So what is Touch Designer used for? Lots and lots of amazing things. Let's go ahead and take a look at their um, Touch Designer. It's used for visual thinking. Let's see all features. Application building. Ooh, high performance media systems, real time 3D and compositing, projection mapping, lighting and live shows, virtual reality, um, all kinds of different things. I use it for loads and loads and loads of my projects. It's the most, uh, it's actually the uh, software that I use the most out of anything else I use. Um, I just love it more than anything. If I could marry a software, I would marry it. Um, yeah. I've told my girlfriend that too. She seems okay with it, strangely. Sometimes you find somebody right for you. So when you uh, want to install Touch Designer, go ahead to the derivative site and you can just Google Touch Designer and it'll bring you there. And you will see that there are a couple things. There's Get It Now and there is a My Account. You will have to create an account. I already have an account. So make sure you create a new account. Um, with a new account, you get 10 licenses for the non-commercial version. Now, the non-commercial version is completely free to download and use. Um, you can use it for anything except for paid projects. It's meant to be used to learn. It has very few limitations, and those limitations are just that it will only output 1280 by 1280 sized video, which is which is kind of a lower HD resolution, but it is more than enough to do some pretty fun stuff and really test things out. So go ahead and create an account and then go to the Get It Now. Now you can download the latest release, 2020 at the time of this video, but there are also archive downloads if you wanna download an earlier version. I'm gonna to go to the archives myself. I suggest you just go ahead and hit 2020. The reason I'm going to the archives is because I have a bunch of projects built in an earlier version, and that is in the latest 2019 version. I'm going to go ahead and click download here. You can download for PC or Mac. I'm going to download for Windows. Um, I have a lot of projects built in this for the actual events that I'm putting on coming up, so I don't want to load the most recent version because it has a few things that have changed. But go ahead and go to the Get It Now download the most recent version. You'll have more than enough to do exactly what you want to do. Um, it will be better than what I have on my computer right now, but it's downloading now and I'm just going to pause this and when it's done downloading, we'll pop back up and we'll install it together as a great team. All right, so Touch Designer 99 has finished loading. I'm just going to go ahead and show in folder and we'll see that it is in my downloads folder. I'm just going to go ahead and just double click and it will open up this to download it onto and install it onto my Windows machine. If you have a Mac, make sure you downloaded the Mac one. Otherwise, this will be awkward. So it's going to take a second to just make sure it's uh, looking at my licenses, looking at the installation things and all that jazz. Let me go ahead and X this out and we'll minimize that. And we'll get this right here in this beautiful place right next to this kid touching an interactive projection, which I made using Touch Designer. And we'll get to it. So it'll take a minute to uh, get that validated and ready, but once you have this Touch Designer setup screen up, go ahead and leave this as is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do custom install and touch player options and then click I agree to the license in terms. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to uh, install Touch Player right there. And Touch Player is a kind of a program that just plays your Touch Designer projects without it actually having to go in through the uh, visual mode. It requires 70 megabytes in space and I have custom install, I agree, install. I'm going to include desktop icon, include in open width, and for touch player I'm going to go ahead and do the include in open width and desktop option. I do not want to make it the default for .toe files, those are touch designer files. I want to actually open those with touch designer, not touch player. I'm going to click install and I'm going to let this install. And over here, oh here we go. I have to give it permission, yes, and it's going to go through its installation process, and then we will come back to you. I'm just going to pause this while it installs, and we'll jump back in once it's at the next screen. 
Touch Designer has installed. You can see that I have my Touch Player and Touch Designer icons that have popped up here. It has successfully installed and I has that little check mark to launch Touch Designer. And let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click Finish and it will launch Touch Designer for me. It's going to do a little bit of its extraction, blah, 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 this. I have a commercial version because I paid for it and I love Touch Designer. You will have a non-commercial version, which is fine. It's totally great. Um, Yours may have popped up differently than this. You might see a blanked out screen. It will have this in the background, but you can't select anything. Whoops. Um, if you go, there might be a thing that says that it needs you to sign in or to create a key. Now, it will probably look something like this. If it doesn't, if that hasn't popped up and you can just work with it like this, go ahead and work with it. But you might need to look under dialogue, key manager, and you might be seeing something like this. If you're seeing this, this is where you need to put in your username and password for the account that you created. Um, make sure you go to your email and confirm that account, that they, they will send you a confirmation letter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sign into my account. <laughs> no, I'm not telling you my password. Nice try, y'all. Sign in. And you'll see that you will have keys here. You sh it should say non-commercial, 10 keys remaining, updates until a year from now. So you get 10 free non-commercial keys, which means you can load this onto 10 different programs. You just need to hit create key. I'm not going to do that now because I already have my commercial key installed and I don't want to use up one of these. Um, and so this is how you install a key. I'm going to go ahead and X out, but you go ahead and hit that create key. If you can't sign into your account, one thing you might need to do is um, with your password. If you just hit return, sometimes it goes through, sometimes you actually need to hit the sign in button. So create your key and then you will be boom, right here. You will have Touch Designer, the coolest, most awesomest software in the world. Now I have um, a whole bunch of tutorials about using and starting up and doing your first Touch Designer tutorial. I highly recommend checking that out. For the remainder of these um, actual tutorials, I'm going to be going through bringing in OSC, Open Sound Control, wireless sensor data from your phone. So in the next video, we're going to look at a couple of free apps that you can use to do just that. Solid.